Perfect Paul here again with an update on my 3D printed aerodynamic wheel inserts for my old 2011 Nissan Leaf. Um, these are the alloy rims. In America there are usually different rim designs and in fact there is a guy, Eric Camila, who has made some alternative designs to achieve the same effect. Um, so I'll put a link in the description below to some of his fine works. Uh, he's also um, a person who from time to time will 3D print these and sell them to people in America. Um, if you've got a 3D printer it's worth printing these. If you don't it's almost not worth paying somebody else because they take quite a long time to print. You need 20 of these to do a whole car and each one of these takes somewhere between two and four hours each depending on your printer and settings and so on. This is the original design that I had which covered the whole cavity and I covered the whole car in these and when I showed these off to people the almost the first question they would ask is oh what about cooling for the brake pads and um, my response was with an electric car that's not nearly so important because a lot of the braking is done with regenerative braking so the actual um, disc brakes brake pads don't actually get that much use they still do, do get a bit a little bit though um, so my hunch was that it, it didn't matter, um, but I don't have any real hard evidence to um, justify that. So after doing those and worrying a little bit about the airflow, I tried this design here, which has a an air slit, and I was what I was aiming for was. Uh, something that addressed the airflow issue and looked okay, and this kind of looks okay. And then I had the I had the thought, it's annoying that you've got to have to have two different designs, one for the segment that has the valve and one for everything else. Uh, so then I tried doing the same thing the whole wheel round, but to be honest, I don't like the look of that. This reminds me of Kermit the Frog eyes. Uh, there's a lot of rim rash on this rim. The whole car is a bit dirty at the moment. We've just, here in New Zealand, just come out of our pandemic lockdown period. The car hasn't been used. I haven't felt the need to wash it, but uh, it does need a wash. So I didn't like that design uh, aesthetically. It doesn't quite work for me, it looks a bit dorky, I think. Then, um, the guy, Eric, notified me about uh, a thesis that was written by a guy, Alexei Vidovin, did a, a thesis called Investigation of Aerodynamic Resistance of Rotating Wheels on Passenger Vehicles. I'll put a link in the description below. And what he did in order to investigate the aerodynamics was he... 3D printed a whole lot of different designs and did a whole lot of wind tunnel and various other tests to see what was optimum and one of the counterintuitive things that he discovered was that if there's a gap on the, the centre axle side of the insert then it is either similar aerodynamic drag or slightly better than a pure flat plane and he goes in to explain why he thinks that is. So I basically used that intelligence in order to create this design which gives also gives a bit of airflow for the brake pads so it addresses that. It's potentially going to give me a tiny bit more aerodynamic performance. So all that's remaining now is for me to go out and do some more coast down tests and actually see if uh, it turns out to be better than these. Back when I did these, I, I did a series of tests that indicated that uh, at when I'm driving at 100 kilometers an hour, I get somewhere around about 6% improvement. I'm hoping that I'll get 
as good or even slightly better with this design. Um, these are all available on my mini factory uh, slash user slash Paul Kennett and you can download the STL files and print them yourself. So um, that's where we are at the moment otherwise all things are fine here. Thanks for watching. Cheers!